Hello and welcome to another episode of Creator Club with Reese Yessi. This is another FA Cup special as we host Bath City in the third qualifying round of the Emirates FA Cup. And yeah, let's let's get to the next stage because that will uh, that's one of the targets set by the board. And let's make them happy about one thing because at the minute it's not going great in the league. As you can see, we're 18th. We've managed to pick up another point since we was last online. Uh, that was at home to Tunbridge Wells. And do you know what? We actually, it was probably our best performance in terms of overall. We had a lot of chances, uh, quite a bit of possession, even though he's playing the counter attacking system. Uh, and Tunbridge Angels were six in that, uh, when we went into that game. So it was a good point, really. Although I was disappointed not to win the game because we had our chances, trust me. But uh, Chiose, come on. He still hasn't managed to score himself a goal, uh, which is very disappointing. Uh, sorry, Chia Doze. Um, so he's had two appearances. You can see him here. Two appearances, six off the bench. No goals, no assists, and a low rating of 6.53. He's not the only one underperforming, but he come to me uh, since the last save saying he's um, basically disappointed with his lack of playing time. Even though it says playing time happiness, how funny is that? He's happy. Well, he's not because he come to me and told me he isn't. Maybe I just reassured him. Uh, but I told him basically he has to work harder to get into the team, basically, because if you're not scoring or assisting, it's no good. And when you've got Akinyemi up there with five goals in 14 games, well, pretty much a goal every just under every three games, then I'm not dropping him anytime soon, am I? But we are here to talk about Bath City in the FA Cup. Uh, we played them, as you know, uh, a couple of games ago, and we drew with them as well there. I think that was 1-1. Um, but yeah, let's head along to the team now. Patterson made it very clear that he is disappointed with his game time. So I told him, you know what? Well, we're not doing very well. I don't normally do this with players, but I told him, you know what? We'll give you a chance. A little run in the team. And uh, it's quite, it's not bad actually to put him in at the minute because Matsuzaka has 90% fitness. So it's good for him to have a little rest as well. But this is the team we are going with. Uh, so that's uh, Billy Johnson in goal. He had a very good game actually. I've slated him. I nearly dropped him, but he had a great game against. Um, uh, who was my last game? I've forgotten already. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's, have a, let's have a look. Last game was Tunbridge Angels. I was just talking about it and I forgot it. Um, so he had a great game, so I decided to keep him in goal for this one. He's kept a clean sheet, made a couple of good slaves there. Green, he's not had a great uh, season, has he? But, you know, he's our best left back at the club. Clements Patterson comes in, Said at right back. Roast. I'm actually going to change him back to a defensive midfielder here. So Roast is still defensive midfield. Deep line playmaker is Christian Law with a ball playing midfielder. It does say it is ball. Oh, sorry. Box to box midfielder, Lawrence, who's our best player this season. Cole out wide and the inside forward role. Harvey on the wing and our top scorer, Akinyemi, up top. We need to win this game. And here we go. Patson's match, lacking match fitness. Yes, he is. Uh, we have tried to sign a defender, uh, a defensive midfielder. We're still pursuing him. Um, and I'll let you know how that goes. He's from Kidderminster. I think his name's Butterfield. But let's give the boys a morale boost. Passionately tell them, I expect to win today. Let's tell them, come on, we need to win. I expect to see a solid performance. I expect you to take control of the midfield, and I expect to see quality finishing. They don't seem too enamoured about that, but that's what I want. We need to get through to the next round of this competition, and the action is underway here at the Reese Arena. Bradford have taken an early lead against Tamworth, by the looks of it. Hopefully, we have a bit more commentary to bring you. 68% possession so far from Bath City. Good start for them. They've only created one chance to R2 in the opening eight minutes here. We need to start scoring a few goals, to be honest. And I did this in the last game. It was encouraged a short passing play. I might have to change that and train it because it worked quite well in the last game. And they, to be fair, old, our assistant, old Sheehan, has been telling us to do it. And we've reluctantly not done it because I'm stubborn. Anyway, highlights first of us. Clements knocks it forward. Akinyemi, I think, won the header. It is out wide to Harvey from Lawrence. Harvey, he's lost the ball. Mm, Richards, can't give the ball away there. We need, we need to, we need to be better in possession for sure. Smith, I'm going to blame the assistant manager for that for his short passing. 
inside to Smith here for Bath City to Richards. He pings it out wide here. Back to Ripley Lowe. It's a good ball in and it's still nil-nil. Good opportunity there for Bath City. They should have taken that, but they didn't. And we are going to tell the boys to get creative, try and inspire them a little bit. And all of them are inspired apart from Clements, who is still composed. Listen to me and you'll be inspired. Let's try and work the ball into the box then. So it's kind of taken away from the counter-attacking here. It's sort of edging, it's that system, but edging towards a ticky-tacker in a way of the short pass and working the ball into the box. It's first, coming up to 40 minutes gone, it's still nil-nil. Bath City with most of the first half. Still haven't seen a highlight of us attacking. We need to start making more chances worthy of our highlights. To address room, let's encourage them a bit. Um, let's passionately say, if we can get a goal, I can make sure swings go out there and make that happen. Yeah, let's, I'm happy with that. Let's check out on the boys' fitness levels. These two, these two are just... He looked really good in pre-season goal, and he's just been very disappointing um, in these first 12, 13 games of the season. Akinyemi's still got a 6.7 up there. I mean, to be honest, not bad, considering he doesn't seem to be getting a lot of ball. Um, 6.5 for Lawrence. That's an unusually poor game from him. Let's change it up a little bit. I quite like this uh, Mazella. No. I think that means he gets out wide to help out. That might help out Cole if he gets out wide. Uh, central player likes to drift wide and operate in half spaces. We'll give him a go there. It might help out the wingers. Um, I will look to bring on Giordoso at some point. He needs to start scoring. Anyway, back underway for the second half. We need a better performance here in the second half. It would be nice to grab an early goal and then try and defend the lead and get ourselves through to the next round and then we've realised one of the club's targets for this season, which will keep them off my back a little bit because the league form is not good. Although we did have a monthly review and they said they are satisfied with what's going on at the club, just a bit disappointed with some of the results. So they're not too annoyed with me just yet. Harvey is having an absolute mare out there, so he is going to be substituted for Barker. This is a change that I seem to be doing quite a lot really. Uh, it's a shame Okren is still out injured because he's a good option out there. Mm, what do I do with Cole? Lawrence is still playing really poorly as well, but we don't take him off. Bit of thinking time here, bit of thinking time. Christian Law's having a good game. Biddy Roast is not. There's no change there. We're going to continue with this. Charlie Barker, I have faith in you. Go and make a difference. Use that motivation to your advantage and get us the win, son. Let's tell them to get creative again. I don't know if what happens. Does it, I don't think it will go to a replay, will it, if it's 0-0? This early on in the competition, will it go straight to penalties? Hopefully, we don't want another game. Games come thick and fast in this league and fitness is a worry. 70 minutes gone, we still haven't seen us attacking, I don't think, on a highlight. We need to be more entertaining, don't we? Billy Johnson has a goal kick. He plays it out, well, to their player. Shocking. Can't be too harsh on him. He's kept a clean sheet in a game and a half now. Well, nearly two games. Launch forward. Baxter. Batten. He launches it forward, looking for their attacker. Clements is there to intercept. Lawrence over the top here to Akinyemi. He strikes. It's 1-0. It's a great goal. Bottom corner, Akinyemi. Six goal of the season. That's why I didn't take him off. Can't will to celebrate. It is 75 minutes gone. It's Reese FC 1, Bath City 0. And we have one foot into the next qualifying round of the FA Cup. Lovely ball over from Lawrence. Akinyemi beats the offside trap. Great touch, great strike. Keeper no chance. 1-0 to Reese FC. And the man who got the assist, was that Lawrence? It was Lawrence. He's having a mare. But he's still providing assists. With that in mind, should we make some changes here? Let's have a look at the old fitness level screen. Seeing Patterson looking apprehensive, but he's had not. He's had an average game today. I don't want to make any changes to the back four, really. Let's get some fresh legs into midfield with Kirkpatrick in the deep lion playmaker role. Will Chia Dozy play out wide? 
I can film my way there. I seem to be trying that out quite a lot. Tell you what, I'm gambling. Let's put Chiodose out wide. You never know if it does go to penalties. If it, if that's how it works, he may grab a goal and get his confidence up a little bit. Final ten minutes here. Still we see FC one Bath City nil. Can we hold on? Tell the lads to concentrate. Looking too composed for my liking. And only Chris is it Chris Barker? Anyway. Sieg Barker looks focused after that. Clements just can't decide whether he's calm or composed. Four minutes out of time. We have got a tendency to concede late goals recently. Let's hold on to this. It'll be a great FA Cup victory for us if we can get through. And it's a great victory for us. I am very happy with that. We have got to the next stage of the competition and that's exactly what the board wanted us to do. Um, well done, lads. Great performance. We'll take that all day long. A nice 1 0 win over Bath City ahead of our away game against Haven and Waterlooville. Apparently, we're fortunate. I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, we've, it's good for our finances as well. We've received 11.25k for winning that game. Let's have a look at our finances in a minute. So, Wage budget is going up. It's now five thousand. I don't, I don't. I really don't know what's going on with the wage budget. That just seems to keep increasing. Maybe it's because where we're earning money going through in the FA Cup and the board are allocating it. Maybe that is the case. Um, but we've got an overall balance of two hundred k now. That's increasing. So that's good. The finance. As long as we're in this competition, the finances of the club will get better. And up next, I think we have haven't Waterlooville. So just like before, before our next league game, we have to draw for the fourth qualifying round of the Emirates FA Cup. A nice home draw would be lovely. So let's draw next team until our team comes out. First team is Barnet. They're home to Eastbourne Borough. Dulwich Hamlet, the Vanarama National South are at home to Maidenhead United. Harrogate Town take on Hyde or Farsley. Billericay are at home to Boreham Wood. St Albans City are at home to Torquay United. Alfredson Town are at home to Chorley. Fly Spartans or Radcliffe are at home to Altrincham. So does that mean it was a replay then? That's ridiculous if it's a replay. Maybe they haven't played their game yet, but if it's a replay at this stage of the competition, that's ridiculous. Not great for non-league sides financially having to travel over the country to play pointless replays. Epsilon United, this would be a good away tie. Local derby, and they play Hereford. Dorking versus Woking. Wrexham versus Curzon Ashton. Haven't and Waterlooville, who are our opponents on Saturday, take on Hemel Hempstead Town. Wilston host Aldershot Town. Dover Athletic take on Western Supermare or Hampton and Richmond. Bradford will take on Fylde. Gloucester City are at home to Notts County. Concord Rangers in our division, of course, we've played them already. They take on Eastleigh. We are left till late. Is it Welling United away for us? No. Slough Town. Stockport County versus Southport, Oxford City versus Yeovil Town, and I didn't realise there's all these fixtures as well. So there's a lot to play for. Maidstone United versus Chippenham Town, annoying that screen keeps jumping. Kettering Town or Buxton will take on Chesterfield. Telford United will take on Gateshead. Kidderminster Harriers, who we're trying to sign a player off, um, will face Halifax Town. And we've got a home tyre. Who is it against? Bromley, Bromley, I think, is that right? They're in the league above us, they are. So that will be a good test for us. And I have no interest in the other teams being drawn out. So Bromley at home, and that will be... Is this it? Oh, CFA Trophy. We don't know when that will be yet. Let's hit continue. And that will be on 19th of October, which is not long away at all, is it? It's, is, this, is it real? Is it still not on the schedule? It's still not on the schedule, but it will be there. So in two or three games' time. It is time for our game against having Waterlooville away from home today. The media have given us absolutely no chance. We are 7-1 to one outsiders to get anything from here. In fact, they dubbed it as Reese FC face the impossible. That's how poor they think we are. Uh, just before we get into this game, though, before I forget, we are have offered 
Lucas Tomlinson uh, contract, uh, albeit a loan deal till the end of the season. We'll be paying uh, one and a half grand a month for him, and paying all of his wages at three hundred and fifty pounds per week. But that's why it took to get him. However. There's a few teams interested, so we don't remain too optimistic because everyone seems to be picking the other teams over us. But look, our progress in the FA Cup has seen our wage budget go up to £569 a week and our transfer budget got up to four, four, just under 44 k So financially, the FA Cup is very important to us by the looks of it. Uh, back to the league. Uh, yep, have a more to lose away. There you go, 7-1 to one outsiders. Not good, is it? We have lost our... Right back, said of course, he is on international duty. It's nice to know we've got an international player. I forgot where, who he plays for now. Israel. Israel. Who is Israel? Israel is who he plays for. He is an under-21 international. He is on international duty. Big loss for us today. He's a pretty solid right back and obviously can cover Lily Rose as well. I've been playing with five subs. I still have seven selected here, but I think that's because of the FA Cup game. I'm sure these pur darker purple fields mean they are the subs for the league. I'm going to leave them there and see what happens. That'd be rather annoying if I've been playing with five subs for this whole time. But anyway, this is the team we've gone for. It's Billy Johnson in goal as ever. Green, Clements, Patterson keeps his place. Heinz Cadet comes in at right back. Billy Roche in the defensive midfield. Uh, we have changed Lawrence to push him a little tiny bit further forward there, hopefully to help Cole out because that Mazela role, is it Mazela how you say it? That allows him to come out wide and fill all these areas here. So hopefully that will help Cole because he's been pretty poor. Uh, Harvey out on the wing as well and Akin Yeme is the leading striker, but we have changed him from an advanced forward. Might be silly because he's been scoring goals there. We've made him a pressing forward. He's more familiar with that. And if we make him defensive, I wonder. It's kind of fixes some issues here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of fixes some issues here. Um, create some there. But you know what? We'll give it a go. He's more natural there by the looks of it. Anyway, having and Walter Louisville away. This is a test. Yes, I know that my sharpness is poor. But they're going to have to get sharper, aren't they, by playing games. They line up in a very similar formation to us there. They're positive. Uh, there's no real pressure on us here. So let's say to them, we've nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. Let's show everyone else what we're capable of. <laughs> the secret is there, really. We're not that good. Um, but we won't tell the players that. I have faith in you. And midfield, I also have faith in you, and I have faith in you as well, strikers. And we're going to end the team talk there and get things underway. Hammond and Walter Louisville away here. They are six in the league, point clear of eighth place Tunbridge Angels. So they look like they are on a promotion push. Uh, we, of course, are struggling. 13, well, 12 points for this game in 13 games. Uh, Hammond and Walter Louisville, of course, they have the ball. Robson plays it out wide to the fullback call, back to Robson, back into Drury. I wonder if that's the Drury we was looking at. Uh, Deacon crosses the ball, cleared away there, but not cleared far enough into the back post. What is the keeper doing again? Billy Johnson has had another nightmare. What has he done? He looks like he can. He should either catch that ball or put it out for a corner, but no, he pretty much palms it straight back to the attacker, who is unmarked poorly. Who has got him? Nobody. I might be in a bit harsh on Johnson there. It looked like he scooped it out of the net. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt because the marking was terrible. And we are 1-0 down within 10 minutes of this game. And we are going to tell the lads. We're going to encourage them because we are underdogs here. Let's encourage them to get back into the game. We, As it stands, we are third from bottom, just outside the relegation zone by a point. Uh, are we the only ones playing today? Because there's no other latest scores. Can't be right because it's movement in the league. 22 minutes gone, we still have another highlight of our own of us attacking, that's not good, uh, doesn't seem to be too many of them at the minute, so I don't think I'm going to give it long now until I revert back to the Tiki Taka and just give it a go my way, because uh, evidently it's not working in the league, it's working fine in the FA Cup, but we're playing poor opposition, albeit Bar City are uh, better than us, and we knocked them out, and here's another chance and it's just over, I think he hit the bar 
a uh, bit of a let off there for us. Dartford have gone one and up away at Chippenham. Chippenham are in and around us, so that's a good result for us. Uh, the players are looking apprehensive. I'll tell you what, let's turn to get creative. Let's inspire them a little bit. I have faith in you. Another free kick here. Deacon whips it in. It's a good header and it's just over the bar. They're missing opportunities having them all to They have had tons of them. Look, 12 shots, 62% possession, only three of them shots on target. Uh, as long as I keep missing them, let's just give Akinyemi one chance and hopefully he'll score. So we're going to remind him there's no pressure on them here. Um, let's play without any pressure. Let's have another look at the tactics just to see if we can change anything up a little bit. Uh, Clement's struggling a little bit with fitness. He plays pretty much every single game, though, so that's kind of expected. Um, Harvey's... Oh, look at these. It's making no real difference. He's not playing well with that, like that, is he? So we are going to make him a ball-winning midfielder. See how he fares with that. And Barker is going to come on for Harvey. Because another poor game from our wingers. Start the second half here. Come on, boys. Let's get back into this. If we can just sneak a point or something, it'd be a vital point to stay away from that bottom two. It hasn't interested me. hasn't asked us to play a short pass and a play today. Probably thinks we're not capable of it. And probably not. Akinyemi, Christian Law, out wide to Cole. He looks ball in. Oh, I thought gonna, Akinyemi was going to get his head to that, but he didn't. Here's Deacon. Drury. Plays the ball out wide to Deacon. He seems everywhere, that Deacon, doesn't he? Back to Drury. Pings a lovely ball across, but Cole intercepts that. One good thing he's actually done this season. Don't see him doing anything else. Really disappointed him. I thought he had a good pre-season. I thought he'd be decent, but he's not. And there's a goal. Taylor has scored there. Apologies for that. I was rudely interrupted by the postman. Uh, and, I, yeah, we've just gone 2-0 down. Poor yeah, Taylor. That's poor. Yeah, it's poor. We, we just can't let, They're just playing with us in that in that box. Defensively, we're poor. In midfield, we're poor. Attacking-wise, we're poor. It's just shocking, really, isn't it? 50 minutes gone, we're 2-0 down. But, hey-ho, we wasn't expected to get much from this game. But let's show some passion and really just try and at least get at them a little bit. I'm not going to play so cautiously now. Let's play positively. See if that makes any difference whatsoever. It's probably going to open the floodgates and let them just come at us and go for score another four or five goals, which we don't want. But 63 minutes on the clock here. It's not looking good. We've only had four shots in the whole game and they have another free kick. Deacon whips it in and it's 3-0. This is not good, is it? Probably wasn't great of me to go positive. Let's, let's go more balanced here. Poor, isn't it? We, we, we just got the, the thing is with this system. We was told at the when we was looking at the tactics that this is this system suits us. Um, you had the old thumbs up when you on the side when you uh, choose formations and whatnot. It clearly doesn't, you know. It really doesn't. We're gonna have to have a good long hard think about this. Um, I haven't made any changes in this game at all, apart from the Harvey one. So we're going to cheer those on. Let's put him in his more natural position as a poacher. Um, Clements is knackered. We're going to chuck the old assistant manager on, put Sheehan in there. It would be really nice uh, if we can get Giordose a goal here, just get his confidence up, um, make it look like we have another option. I, do you know, I'm really tempted to try and go with like a 4 4 2 or something. Give Akinyemi a bit of support and Chiodoze might be able to play off of him and grab a couple of goals. But we are going forward here with Barker. Great run from him. He plays the ball here to Chiodoze. He puts a lovely ball across and there's a header and it's wide. Uh, at least we had an attack. That was a highlight. Uh, shows that we are actually in the game and not left in the dressing room doing nothing. And another disappointing performance, really. Albeit it was expected the media... Predicted that, and it's a 3 0 defeat to have at Waterlooville. Uh, I like this. Tell the team the performance was disappointing. Well, the rest of it, you were saying, well, you know what? 
pressure's off today, we're not expected to get anything. So I'm gonna tell them they're the underdogs, yeah, they're switched off. You can't win in this game, can you? <laughs> so do you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna go my rather than try and pander to these players from now on, I'm gonna just try my proper approach to management and be quite harsh when I need to be because we are sitting dangerously close to that bottom two. We're a point off of it. We have the worst win ratio, uh, worst amount of wins in the league with two alongside with Eastbourne Borough. And let's have a look at the schedule here. We have got Dorking away, Bromley at home in the cup, Maidstone away, Hungerford. So where's Dorking in the league? They are seventh. We're Maidstone is one we need to be winning. That is a huge game, Maidstone. And that ties in nicely with the next episode because it will be another FA Cup special with Bromley at home. And I'm sure if we get through, we'll have the draw in between that and then Maidstone at home. That's a huge game. We need to win that game. Um, but thank you very much for watching uh, another episode on ReCFC on our Create a Club series. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the content, please give it a like. That will be very much appreciated. And see you soon for the next chapter of Reese FC.